Hello and welcome to Factual Insider, the channel that strives to cover as many facts as possible. Today we will be discussing 10 facts about the game franchise Ma Dao Mo no Gatari you may not know. If you find any of the facts to be interesting, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. With that being said, let's get started. Number 1. Ma Dao Mo no Gatari was the game series that started the Puyo Puyo game franchise. The name is translated into English as Magic Story or Sorcery Saga. In Ma Dao Mo no Gatari, the player would encounter green blob-like monsters called Puyos that the player fight in game. Compile who was responsible for the series at the time decided to make a puzzle spin-off called Puyo Puyo. The spin-off performed exceptionally well in sales and in the arcades that Compile decided to focus most of their efforts on Puyo Puyo instead of Mad Dao Mo no Gatari. Please be sure to check out our other video about 10 facts you may not know about Puyo Puyo. Number 2. The only Ma Dao Mo no Gatari game that would ever have a Western release would be say Ma Dao Mo no Gatari or Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Great Curry God as the game was called in the West. The game no longer had the original characters from the series as Sega purchased the rights to Puyo Puyo back in 1998 and would also acquire ownership of the original Ma Dao Mo no Gatari characters. Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Great Curry God would receive stellar reviews but was considered a niche title on the PS Vita. Number 3. Compile who was the owner of the Ma Dao Mo no Gatari series would face bankruptcy in 2003. Later on, former Compile employees would form Compile Heart, the new development studio that would work on various JRPGs such as Trinity Universe, Fairy Fencer, Cross Edge, and of course their most successful game franchise the Hyper Dimension Neptunia series. Number 4. Ma Dao Mo no Gatari had its original trilogy have multiple remakes. Spanning across later versions of Windows, the Game Gear and Mega Drive, Ma Dao Mo no Gatari would receive many different polishes for players to enjoy. Number 5. Ma Dao Mo no Gatari, Hana Mar U Dai Yo Kai Enji for the Super Famicom was released in Japan in 1996. The game was meant to retell the original story of Ma Dao Mo no Gatari games with a new take using a more traditional RPG layout that is similar to Final Fantasy and Pokemon while abandoning its original dungeon crawling gameplay that the series was introduced with. Number 6. Despite not being the owner of the series, Sega was the publisher of multiple Ma Dao Mo no Gatari titles along with other Puyo Puyo titles. All of the games that were published by Sega were unsurprisingly on Sega consoles such as the Game Gear and Mega Drive. Some of these games were the Ma Dao Mo no Gatari episode remakes on the Game Gear and Puyo Puyo on the Mega Drive. Sega also collaborated with Compile to help bring Puyo Puyo to the arcades. Number 7. Most of the Ma Dao Mo no Gatari games were extremely challenging games that could easily be assumed that the modern-day gamer may have an intense struggle with and especially the original trilogy. A dungeon crawler that was cruel enough to remove stats to show how much health and magic the player had, the player had very limited cues to tell the state that Arl was in. During gameplay, the player would have to rely on facial expressions and comments that Arl would say. You know when you were in trouble when Arl would not look so good on screen. Number 8. Despite the cute aesthetic that modern Puyo Puyo games have today, Puyo's beginnings were quite the opposite. The original trilogy of Ma Dao Mo no Gatari had blood, gore and gruesome images that the game did not hold back. Compile really tried to show in detail exactly what was happening when Arl's classmates were in trouble and she was laying down attacks on her foes. There's even one point when Arl decapitates Shezo's head. Number 9. In 1998 the last Ma Dao Mo no Gatari game released by Compile would release for Sega Saturn and it was simply called Ma Dao Mo no Gatari. Not being a remake of the original trilogy, Ma Dao Mo no Gatari implemented stats that previous titles did not use such as a health and MP meter. The game would follow traditional RPG gameplay and would be the last Ma Dao Mo no Gatari game until 2005 when another Ma Dao Mo no Gatari game would share the same title of the series would release as a mobile game through iMobile services in Japan. Number 10. Ma Dao Mo no Gatari released on iMobile no longer had Compile as either the developer or published was published by Gmode and developed by iKai and had a special copyright to Sega since Sega purchased the rights to the Ma Dao Mo no Gatari characters when Sega acquired Puyo Puyo back in 1998. Returning to the dungeon crawling format, Ma Dao Mo no Gatari for iMode was the last Ma Dao Mo no Gatari title to include the original cast. The game was only available for 6 months and no longer can be played 
due to the iMobile store being shut down in 2021. Well there you have it. Those were 10 facts about Ma Dao Mo no Gatari you may not know. Hope that the video was enjoyable and entertaining. You are encouraged to watch more facts about other game franchises and other miscellaneous topics. See you next time.